Hi there, in that short video, uh, when you log into the dashboard, you will be able to uh, add the post uh, from the admin dashboard. You just need to be logged into the WP admin on the post section right here. When you open, you just click on the more post menu section right there. Okay, it's opening right now. So that is the post that is already added. So you can add able to remove that post whenever you want. Okay, just like if you want to add a new post, just click on the post, add new. Okay. So, first of all, you need to give him a title, then, you need to give him a blog of text, paragraph, images, this, gallery, browser. You can use any of the sections from here and create your complete blog. Then just publish that and on the categorized of the post you must be able to create categories from the back okay. and just publish that then the post will be published out right there. So right now there is no categorized post. So just like that is all our categorized we can give them the categorization less like sport is a category. And the other one is just like the category. Okay. So here you can able to select uh, the different categories for each post and differentiate between the post by using the categorizations. Okay. So this is all about how you can add the post and how you can categorize that post. If you want to change anything from the main page or any of the images that you want to change or any of the text if you want to change them and let me show you how you can also be able to do that okay. just like this one if you want to change these these images this text you just go and click when you log in with the admin you see this option added with elemental Okay, it's opening right now that is a page builder that is used for building the page. Right now you can see you will not be able to just select the option which option that you need is that you want to be changed. Just click choose an image, upload from the desktop and your images will be saved out right there. Same with all of the text, all of the images, and all of the other images will be follow the same procedure. Any of the logo, any of the thing that you want to be deleted right there, just click and delete that option so you can easily adjust all of your settings with respect to your requirements and with respect to your content. Okay. Thank you very much.